Super Mario 3D All-Stars, can you believe it's taken Nintendo this long to finally release a collection of their 3D games? For some perspective, Super Mario All-Stars, which was a collection of other 2D games, released back on the SNES on July 14, 1993. I wasn't even alive! And now, cut to September of 2020. And to celebrate the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary, we get this. Now, I know that a lot of you might be thinking that this is a pretty lackluster deal, being only three unremastered games for $60. But, there's more to this game than people think. So, let's take a look at what's exactly inside the box. Inside this concise package, we have three of the most revolutionary 3D platformers. Each game in and of itself did much to revolutionize the industry. Super Mario 64 was one of the first 3D platformers, and it serves as a basis for almost every single 3D platformer to come afterwards. The gaming industry in general would be in a much different place without Mario 64. Mario Sunshine, on the other hand, brought on a delightful detour. Besides the fact that this is one of my favorite Mario games, Sunshine provides an excellent interconnected world. Playing Mario Sunshine makes you feel like you're actually on vacation on Isle Delfino. I even remember that growing up as a kid, I would sometimes turn on my GameCube, pop in Mario Sunshine, and just walk around the levels to feel like I was on a tropical vacation. Any level, anywhere, you can see other stages. Mario, barring the removal of the long jump, feels better than ever before. His moves are tight, and with the addition of Flood, while at first seeming like a crutch, proves to be an excellent addition to Mario's moveset. In many ways, Sunshine was a refinement to 64's formula. Lastly, Super Mario Galaxy, a galaxy-spanning, crazy imaginative 3D platforming adventure. Widely regarded as one of the greatest Mario games of all time, Galaxy earned that title for a reason. Mario feels just as good as he did in Sunshine, albeit with one new addition his new spin attack. You're offered an organic feeling level of aerial control only rivaled by the likes of Flood. I cannot stress how many times that this move has saved my skin while playing the game. And while not being as open as Sunshine 64, Galaxy still created a whole universe for you to traverse through, with many great platforming challenges and fun to be had. All in all, it serves as one of the most polished, and gracefully executed platforming experiences out there. Well, okay, that's cool and all, but it's $60! Shut up. This is my video? Anyways. This is a special occasion. The games are not only upscaled, but the textures have been redone. A simple virtual console or Switch Online release would have just re-released the games as they were all those years ago. Yes, there's emulation. Yes, you're paying an extra $10 for what's essentially upscale textures and a higher resolution, when it would just be $10 on the eShop. Above all, it's finally a way to play these classic games on Switch in higher fidelity, all while officially supporting its creators. $60 can be a steep price tag for just a collection of ports, but you gotta remember that these ports come bundled chock full of some of the greatest platforming games in history. And with soundtracks? Holy crap! You know, soundtracks are cool and all, but nothing grinds my gears more than when an 18-year-old game about sanitation platforming doesn't get released on updated hardware. And while Mario Galaxy could be played on Wii U, it's now able to be taken anywhere and on the go, while also offering higher resolution support. Also, who even has a Wii U? And also, you can't forget that these are still pretty good prices. The re-release of Galaxy on Wii still costs around $20. And Sunshine, if you were to get that on GameCube, that still runs about $50. So, what does this game mean for Nintendo going forward? Well, if this game is going to sell well, which it undoubtedly will, I believe it's going to set a bit of a precedent for Nintendo. The choice to only temporarily release this game seems to be a bit of an experiment. Something to test the waters on this type of game format, while securing sales by playing into people's fears of missing out. I have a hunch that if Super Mario 3D All-Star sells well, 
then we might have more 3D collections like this in the future, maybe for something like Zelda or the like. And wait, who are you? I'm you from the future. The Legend of Zelda 40th Anniversary Collection just came out and it sold out in three seconds. You got, you had to have like predicted it, get it. It, it releases on. Wait, where'd you go?